so let's review that order of operations that we talked about last time. Is it the right order of operations? That's a different order of operations. Different from what? The ones that you use in Europe. Maybe some that you use in Europe or somewhere else, right? Other ones that you use in Europe, the wrong ones? Yes. No. No, uh -uh. no they're just the other ones. Okay? It's like the cars we drive in America are not the right cars to drive, they're just the cars we drive, and the cars we drive in other countries are the cars they drive. Okay? We use this order of operations. Somebody else might use a different one. But if we all agree to use the same one, we should get the exact same result every time. Okay? So we'll review it real quick. I like to write it like this, like Mr. Zillay writes it. Top to bottom, left to right. Okay? The parentheses always come first. Of course, that's just the nature of parentheses. You think you see parentheses, you think these things go together. Exponents will come next. Okay? Multiplication and division are neither one of them is above the other. Right? One of them has to be written on the left. We could write uh, DM like this instead. It doesn't make a difference. Because how do we do multiplication and division? Left to right. Division's on the left, do division first. Multiplication's on the left, do division do multiplication first. I hope I just said that right. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah sort of. Division's on the left, do it first. Multiplication's on the left, do it first. Yes? I found a different way of remembering it. How's that? Please excuse my parents, Alex. I just said, please execute mom, dad, and sister. Wow. <laughs> that was dark. Oh, that is brutal, but so true. I forgot one. Uh, please do then we have addition and subtraction from left to right. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I'm ready as soon as you're ready. Right. Uh, addition and subtraction also from left to right. Subtraction's first, do it first, and addition's first, do it first. All right. So according to this order that we are agreed to use, which comes first here? Exponents. Exponents first. You don't have any parentheses, so you don't have to worry about that. Exponents are first. Okay. Just to remind you how somebody else could decide to do it if they decided to do multiplication always first before uh, exponents. They could get 12 squared. And that would be 144, right? Mm -hmm. The math is correct. It's just not the order we're going to use. We're going to use exponents first. Well, four so three. this 4, everybody knows that, 4 right here is we have to choose between it being squared or it being multiplied by 3. Well, the order that we talked about, exponents is what's going to come first. So 3 times 16. All right. At the same time, we get this 15. It, it could be added to the 4. It could be divided by the 5. This 5 could be multiplied by the 3 or divided into the 15. Divided. We should do the 15 divided by 5, right? Before yeah. the addition. It's on the left of the multiplication, so we should do it first. Okay, So we can do that at the same time as we did this step. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Okay, times 3, so we'll just carry that through. Minus 7. We should not subtract 7 from 3 because that multiplication should come first. Okay. The order just, it's basically how do you choose? Every, every number seems to be involved in at least two operations. As many as two operations. Can we put our books away, please? Okay. Uh, 3 could be multiplied by 5 or subtracted by 7. According to this order, we would multiply it. So uh, now we have multiplication and some more multiplication. So 3 times 16, 48. 48. 3 times 3, 9. We'll add those together. We'll subtract 7. And then there, 48 plus 9 is 7. 7 minus 7. 50. 50. 50. Okay. So I did it differently, but I got the same thing. What's that? I did it differently, but I got the same thing. Yeah, okay. I did it differently. You can do things in a slightly different order while still following the order of operations, meaning um, I can do 48 minus, <coughs> excuse me, I can do 48 minus 7, okay, because now we're not really talking about the order of operations, now we're talking about properties of numbers. Okay. If I treat this like an add 7, or uh, sorry, a negative 7, addition is commutative and associative. I can move them around, I can add them pretty much in any order that I want. Okay, as long as the sign is following the negatives around. So 48 minus 7 plus 9, still 50. Um, <coughs> let's see, what makes that 
really much else I could. What, what did you do differently? Well, the only thing I did differently is I did three times four first and then did all that. Three times, no, you would not get the same thing. I, what I did is I wrote down it, it said instead of writing three times four squared, yeah. I did three times four times four and then the rest. No. Oh, okay. Yes. Then you would get the same thing because there's still that other four. Mm -hmm. So if I represent four squared, not as 16, but as four times four. Now I just have times times. Well, I, I got gotcha. you. Did you do that? Double check here. Three, 16, Double check. Divide by five. Talking. Aubrey's talking. I think it's listen to Aubrey out of respect. Yes? Because you decided to do division, division first, not because you're wrong for doing division or doing something else besides division first, but it's not the order that we agreed we would do. Right? So don't don't forget the order we agreed to in pretty much America. That's how we do it. Okay. So if you follow that, you will get the same response as everybody else. And if you ever find somebody who does the math, like every combination of two numbers is done correctly come out with a different answer because they got it in a different order, and they want to engage you in some kind of argument or a debate, what are you going to tell them? I don't care. Okay. We're Americans. <laughs> like this is America. Yeah, it's, this is the way that I do it. You're not going to argue that you're right. You're just going to argue, this is the way I've always done it. And you know what? You're right, too. You just did it in a different order. Alan? And Tiana, Aubrey? I wasn't even talking. She was talking to Archer. I just got chit. I didn't hear your voice at all? <laughs> no. Okay, my apologies. Um, it's kind of like this. Until we have a, a really agreed upon order, it's not very obvious what we're supposed to do here. It's kind of like this sentence. That what somebody wants to do? Oh, no, I don't know what wants to do that. Uh, that's terrible. That's <laughs> what they meant to say. <laughs> With a comma. <laughs> Let's eat. <laughs> Grandma. Well, unless you have people from the hills have eyes, then. Well, yeah. Stop. 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 Let's stop doing that. Okay? We've easily used up the two distractions that we, we allotted for ourselves last class. Stop, please. All right? There's a time for it and there's a lot of time not for it. Let's please stay focused. This class has the hardest time staying on schedule because of things like that. Chill, cool it. So we put a comma there, it's clear what that person meant to communicate, right? And if I want to be completely clear, I could use parentheses, but I don't. We agree to do things in this order so that we don't have to use so many parentheses. All right. Um, pretty good. So what we'll do now, for this class, rest of the class, as you see, we have going on tomorrow. Why are we? Yes. <laughs> Why do we have a test? So early. So we're going to do this tomorrow, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to pass out some review material which you can use to review for that test. And study. And study. It's not a homework assignment. It's not something to do. You don't have to turn it in tomorrow. But it's highly recommended. Do it. Yes. Could we turn it in for extra credit? No. It's not a bad idea, but currently that's not what we're doing. Maybe at another time for another test. Uh, so you don't have to turn it in, but you are expected to make this time productive. You're not going to be playing, chit-chatting, 
Uh, the Hills Have Eyes, you're going to be yeah. doing something productive for this class. You're going to be getting prepared for the test tomorrow. Okay? Yes. Can we listen to music? You can listen to music. If it looks like you're not listening to music and you're playing a game, phone jail. Phone what? Question. Phone jail. Phone jail. Phone jail. Phone jail. Phone jail. When it comes, can we? all tests are 100%. They're all the same as each other. It doesn't matter. They're all 100%. I know in some classes, if something's 10 points and something's 20 points, that's a difference. But with the test, it doesn't matter. They all go in the book at 100. Yes? What happens when we're not here tomorrow? You need to make it up sometime. Yes? We draw can do some math. You can get ready for a test tomorrow. Question. Yes. Can, um, so, like, if I don't understand something, can mm -hmm. I ask someone or help? You can ask someone. You can ask me. You can ask your neighbor. Just don't be walking around. Am I allowed to, like, sit down? Can I ask someone? What? Am I allowed to, like, sit, like, yeah, can we, like, study together with someone? For now, I'm going to wow. say no based on your previous behavior as a class. Okay? If we change, then maybe I can. Trust it a little bit more. Okay. Not, not something I think that you're capable of at this moment.